The more I see these new stories and everything unravel in the public spotlight on social media, the more I'm like, dang, Black Mirror might actually be right. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take different topics going on in pop culture or the YouTube community or whatever it is and try to see what lessons we can learn from them. And something I'm very passionate about is mental health. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, like some people or most people, you saw that Etika was trending on Twitter. And I sent a tweet out, I'm like, okay, who is Etika and what the heck is happening? And I just got like drawn in. I'm like, what is going on? Like I saw live streams of it looked like cops and everything. So anyways, anyways, it looks like Etika, some people are saying, you know, he's just doing things for attention and everything like that. And something I'll touch on is looking for attention can also be a cry for help, all right? Like um, Eddie Burback, he did a video about another creator who was going around, you know, like pretty much harassing people in public. And yeah, that dude, like it seemed like he had some, some issues. And before I go any further, full disclaimer, I'm not a licensed therapist or psychologist or anything like that. I'm somebody who has struggled with my own mental health issues. I've worked at an addiction treatment center. Um, I worked there for a little over three years and we also specialized in mental illness, although I'm not a licensed professional. So that is the perspective I'm coming at with this video, all right? So anyways, anyways, <clears throat> basically, like I, I've been piecing together a timeline of events. And Etika, he's, he's a streamer. Um, he does some trolly stuff sometimes. But in the last couple of weeks, he seems to have become a little unhinged, doing things which would appear for shock value, right? So something that he was doing is he was going off on Twitter. He was saying like racist, anti-Semitic things. He started even like uploading porn onto his YouTube channel to get it taken down. And then he did it to his second channel as well and everything. And then like a former girlfriend of his came over to check on him and she like posted and said, hey, it's okay. But one of the things was, is that he was threatening to kill himself, okay? And then he showed a picture of the gun, all right, publicly. So at that point, he was taken because a wellness check was called on him. And you guys, like, I, I get so frustrated. A couple months ago, there was a bunch of stuff going on in the community and some stuff going on with me, um, even though I wasn't involved. There was stuff about wellness checks. Like, you guys, wellness checks are there to help people who are mentally unstable. And the fact that people have demonized wellness checks just absolutely blows my mind, okay? And this is a prime example of it, but anyways, it, uh, he went, um, I don't know if he went to treatment or I don't know if he, you know, uh, was on a 72 hour hold or 48 hour hold or whatever it was. And what those are, for those of you who don't know, is when you are suicidal, okay, if you are a danger to yourself or other people, you will typically be put on a psychiatric hold, okay? And that is just so doctors can get you stable. Sometimes they medicate you, sometimes it's therapy, just to see what's going on to make sure that you will not hurt yourself or anybody else. Typically within 72 hours, some people just, they, they get very just emotionally fueled. And during that time, they just need to be in a safe place. So that's typically what these holds are for. But anyways, Etika got out of there. And then it looks like just today or even in the last 24 hours, he's been sending a bunch of tweets. So I've heard some people mention mania and, uh, and things like that. And for those of you who don't know, Mania is a symptom of uh, disorders like bipolar disorder. And in these states, you can become somewhat psychotic, okay? So you can, you know, uh, have just delusions of grandiosity. You can see things, you can hear things, you can just, all sorts of things can happen. And people, it seems to me, it seems to me that people were worried that when he started doing this again on Twitter in the last 24 hours, it's like, oh crap this dude needs help. So basically what happened today was that the cops and the EMTs were called to Etika's house in Brooklyn because he was acting erratic, okay? And this is a red flag, like this is a red flag. For somebody who was just threatening suicide in the last couple of weeks to start acting this way, like this is a red flag, all right? So I don't know Etika, I'm not diagnosing Etika, I don't know anything about him, but like what I try to do on my channel is like, I try to take these very, very public topics so you can like know what to do in these situations. Like you might have a friend who is doing these things. So 
Some people are like, oh, oh, it was just a cry for, uh, it was just him trying to get attention. Don't mind it, don't mind it. Him just trying to get attention. Like somebody even just on Twitter who kind of uh, gave me a little insight into the story. They said, don't do a video on this until more information comes out. Like the fact that the cops showed up and Etika was detained, okay, and put in cuffs and taken away, like, this is something that we need to talk about. If there are more developments to this story, I will try to do another video on it. But here's the thing, any kind of cry for attention like that, like trying to get that attention is a cry for help. A lot of people do that. And something else, like, oh my God, I just made a video about Chris Brown and how many people are neglecting the fact that I said I'm half African American is absolutely mind blowing. But mental illness in the black community is prevalent and many, many black people, but uh, mainly men, will not get help for their mental illnesses. And I watched Etika's entire 30 minute live stream. Um, somebody re-uploaded it. He was live streaming the whole thing over on Instagram. And one of the first things he says in that Instagram live stream is, you're gonna take me away and try to put me on medications, okay? I can't remember if he said again, but that sounds like something somebody would say who has already had this happen before. So I'm curious if that's what already happened. But a lot of people, especially those, and again, I don't know Etika, I can't diagnose him, I don't know what he's been diagnosed with, if, in, if anything, but especially when it comes to mania and manic states, a lot of people don't like medications, okay? Because during those manic states, those extreme highs, like they feel invincible and they don't want medications to bring them back down. But the problem is, especially with bipolar disorder, is the depressive state, right? That brings you to a point where you think about taking your own life, all right? But the last thing I wanna talk about with this story and watching um, Etika's live stream on this and just reading the comments, seeing him reply to comments, like this is why I mentioned Black Mirror in the intro, like, it's just disturbing, man. It is disturbing how disconnected we are from so many people, right? We look at we look at celebrities or YouTubers or whoever it is as they are just these things. You know what I mean? And people in his live stream were egging him on. There were even people, a lot of people on Twitter egging him on and playing into it and stuff and thinking it's funny. And this is one of the reasons why there's such a stigma around mental illness is people think it's funny and that it's a joke and all these other things. Like, so people were in the live stream, like saying like, uh, you know, because, uh, you know, Etika was posting about how he's like the antichrist and everything like that. And people are like, oh yeah, man, they, can, they can't hurt you, you're the antichrist and everything. And like, this is not what you do for somebody in that state. You don't gas them up, all right? But the other thing was people thought it was funny to like tell this guy who is potentially going through like a psychotic episode, telling him, telling him who's all, like one of the symptoms of that is extreme paranoia, right? And people were saying in the live chat, like, oh, watch out, man, there's snipers outside the window, there's snipers. Uh, and he's like, what, what, there's snipers, right? All of these things are not helping the situation. And I look at this, I'm like, oh my God, the world is insane, you know? Because it's just some person, some guy or girl, just like sitting there like, Haha, this is funny. You know what I mean? And it's just like, where is the human compassion? Where is the empathy? Where is, you know, uh, uh, just trying to understand what this person's going through? Like, I don't know, maybe it's just working in addiction treatment for, you know, a, a few years and seeing so much death. Like, I take this stuff very, very seriously, all right? But I even saw some um, YouTubers um, and other people on Twitter who I won't name, like, gassing him up as well. And it's awful, and it's just like, a lot of people, a lot of people don't think about worst case scenarios. Like I'm somebody who has had over 70 people die in the last few years working in treatment and other people I know, like a very high rate. Some, some people, like a handful of those people, probably close to a dozen, I talked to the day before they died which is pretty crazy. And I don't think a lot of people think about this when they're watching this from the sidelines and egging it on and making all these jokes and everything. They don't think about how they're going to feel if they they find out that uh, Etika hurt himself, right? If Etika took his own life, if something terrible happened. I don't think they, they even consider how they're going to live themselves, even considering they played a role in that. And like, you know, I hate to get so serious about these things, but we're talking about human life here, 
okay? And, you know, just my final thoughts on this is just, it's a crazy world, and you know, I'm a YouTuber, um, I make some commentary videos about other YouTubers and what's going on, and like, I just hope anybody out there who is aspiring to be in the public spotlight, you really take a look at these things and what people are going through and how everything is watched, everything is tracked. Like if Attica was just some random dude with like 100 uh, followers on Twitter or Instagram or YouTube, a lot of this stuff, most people wouldn't have even noticed. But this guy is, you know, he was putting this out there or threatening to take his own life and acting erratic in front of thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people. And when you're doing that, a wellness check is gonna get called. But anyways, I hope the best for Etika. If any anything comes up, if there's any new updates to this story, I'll try to make a video on it with my thoughts. But let me know your thoughts on the situation down in the comment below. Um, and yeah, let's have a conversation together and try to get rid of this stigma. All right, but anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to support what I'm doing here on this channel, get involved in our monthly Q&A and some other perks and benefits, click or tap right there. All right, thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.